That was me, Tommy Lasorda, before I lost 30 pounds in three months on the Ultra Slim Fast plan. It's even easier to have my shake because Ultra Slim Fast comes ready to drink in cans. Losing weight has never been so convenient. Wherever I am, I can have my shake. Ah, icy cold and delicious. Who says you can't take it with you? Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week. We'll take off the weight. A new catchword for a people-pleasing person with low self-esteem and an inability to function in a normal relationship. <laughs> Trust me, I don't have to look it up. What's wrong with your desk, Hetty? And then I find out he's not Bill Douglas, senior editor from the 14th floor. He's Bill Douglas, the busboy from the deli downstairs. I slept with the wrong guy! Hetty, that had better not have been personal. It wasn't, Mr. Bracken. When I am here, I am working. In fact, Here's that article on bile and its role in the human digestive tract. Herman, I thought you were checking this article. He was running a little behind and asked me to finish it. Well, good work, Hetty. Herman, pull your act together. Sorry, Herman, I needed a completed assignment. Then you should have taken one from this pile. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bracken. The Hermster. Not now, Jay, I'm busy. The average male peaks sexually in his teens. By his mid-twenties, he has already lost 32% of his sexual potency. <laughs> Let's go meet some girls while we still got something left. Can't. Once I finish up here, I have to go be interviewed. An interview? That's impressive. A high school classmate of mine is doing a Where Are They Now article for my hometown newspaper. That's boring. Hey, playoffs. This means a lot to me. All my relatives and friends are going to read about me, my career. Career? You got a night job we don't know about? Hey. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I got my own place. I'm living in the most exciting city in the world, and last night, I bought a new color television. A new television, Herman? Ooh, sexy. Oh, women go wild over a man with a television. It just gets us so hot. That's it. I've had it with her. I'm going to rearrange that nose of hers, this time without the benefit of a plastic surgeon. Calm down. We can't hit her. She's a woman. And we still got no proof of that. <laughs> Hetty, how'd you like to uh, come downstairs and have a drink with me? I'd rather choke on a lump of pork. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Jay, do me a favor. Bracken is in a foul mood, and I don't want him to see you here. Research. Where is Jimmy Hoffa buried? Chicago, Soldier Field, Chicago, Section 34, Soldier Road G, 645 and 17. Louise, what is that writer doing down here? I don't like to tell on fellow employees, sir. It makes me feel guilty. He's here. He's always here. I'll work it out with my therapist. What do you think this is? A cocktail lounge? I'll have a bourbon on the rocks, please. <laughs> no, the decaf's in the orange pot. I said no personal business, people. Now that means everyone. Mr. Bracken, your wife's on the phone. I can't talk to you now, honey. You know I love you, but I'm at work. Your wife's online, too, sir. That was Mr. Cruikshank in marketing. <laughs> high school. How will we recognize her? There's got to be a picture of her in our memory somewhere. Here we go. Whoa, is that just one woman? Hey, she's just a little overweight. Besides, maybe she's lost some of it. Yeah, great. Now she's down to enormous. <laughs> Meredith? Hi, I'm Herman Brooks. Herman Brooks? I'm Meredith Fraser from the Millbury Sentinel. <laughs> You're Meredith? What was that all about? Is there an opening? I took it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I interrupted something. No, no. Well, come on, why don't we sit down? All right. Oh, 
I'm saying is, if things don't work out with Meredith, we got a sure thing at the bar. <laughs> hey, it's a plan. Meredith, it's incredible. What? It's just that you used to be so... so... fat. <laughs> Fat. Well, I, I'd never use that word. It's okay. If I ever did anything bad to you in school, I regret it with every part of my being. You never teased me, Herman. Everybody else did, but not you. You see? Sensitivity can pay off. Damn straight. We may end up bagging this chick. <laughs> bagging this chick? Who else have you interviewed from our class? Well, I just interviewed Stuart Bloom on his yacht. His yacht? Uh-huh. And Charles Fishbein just sold a screenplay to Hollywood for a million dollars. Fishbrain sold a script, but he could barely read and write. <laughs> and Sharon Pollock is living right here in New York on uh, Park Avenue. That's a nice area, isn't it? Well, it's a little far from the subway. Oh, and, of course, did you tell her about the television yet, Doug? <laughs> Oh my God, we're a failure. I'm working for a, with, with a large uh, publishing company here in New York. Oh, wow, that's exciting. What exactly do you do for this company? I'm a... Hi, Herman. <laughs> Louise? So, uh, what is it you do, Herman? I say we lie. Right in front of Louise? What's it gonna hurt? Listen up, pork chop. <laughs> Lying is a bad idea. It only leads to more lies. Come on, we gotta impress this babe if we want her to raise the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> raise the Titanic? Come on, you know, sink the Bismarck. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Nothing gets published around here without crossing my desk first. That's incredible. It certainly is. You're free to go now, Louise. Um, Herman, would it be possible to go to your apartment so that I can take a few pictures of you for the article? My apartment? Yes, I think the people of Millbury would love to see how a, a New York writer lives. Uh-oh. We can't take her to our place. It looks like a litter box. I knew we should have told the truth. All right, genius. You're gonna cough up a plan, and you're gonna cough it up now. We'll never get our Norman Schwartz coughed. <laughs> our Norman Schwartz cough? Would you excuse me for a second? I see a writer I have to talk to. I'm busy, Hermski. Girlski. I need to talk to you now-ski. <laughs> Why? What is so important? I need to borrow your apartment. What for? Because your place overlooks Central Park and mine overlooks Garcia's House of Kosher Barbecue. Oh, we're trying to press the babe, huh? I'm past impressing. I'm into damage control. Give me your keys. Okay. Just don't touch the mirrors in the bedroom, okay? I have them angled just the way I like them. 